Hi everybody, it's Martin the Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying a wet fly for you. This is a uh, sort of loch style fly. It's uh, the Autumn Ordi. It's a Loch Ordi variant um, from Rob Denson. Uh, he writes in Trout and Salmon, or he wrote in Trout and Salmon, I don't know if he still does. As always, we'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody that wants to support the channel and get access to the members only content. Along with being entered into the monthly giveaways. So I've got my hook in my vise, it's a Camazan B175, size 10. And I'm just running on a bed of black thread, it's just 8 uni. It's quite a simple fly this, um, it needs some hackles really, uh, but it's a very effective top dropper pattern um, and well worth having if you like lock style fishing. So first hackle is a light red game or ginger hen. quite long in the fibre, right? you want a fairly long fibred hackle for these. I'm just going to wind this forward, folding it at, as I go. One turn in front of the other. And I'm just going to use up all the good fibres on the hackle. Right, this is, don't be shy with your hackle, this is a bushy fly. Catch that in. Just got to secure the waist, the length of the, about the space of the next hackle if you like. And you can see, it's starting to get that shape already. Next hackle is like a, it's a hot orange hen. Just looking about my cape for one that's similarly long in the in the barbule. And the same again, I'm going to take all the rubbish off the bottom and expose the tip. And then tie that in. I'm tying these with a the good side facing forward, so the concave sides to me as I tie it in. And then, again, make sure you've got a nice clean bed to wind over and then wrap your hackle. Still stroke the fibres as you go. You can use your hackle pliers if you like, I don't bother because they're big hackles, there's plenty to hold on to. Just keep winding. Again, using up everything in the hackle. All the good stuff. I mean, the original Loch Ordi is a great pattern. Um, and this wee variation, I mean, it behaves the same way. It's got that kind of mobile mo pulsating hackle. Plenty of movement, really, really good. Creating a good wave. And the front hackle is natural black I'm using. Um, when this was first in Trout and Salmon, was it Trout and Salmon? That doesn't matter. When, it was when I first saw this in the magazine, uh, I'm sure that the dressing said you could also use brown, brown or black, but I like the natural black because it's 
slightly uh, it's slightly brownish a lot of them you know they're no jet black like a dyed cape and this is again longer still in the fiber than the the orange and the the brown or the, the ginger so each hackle is getting a wee bit longer than the one before I'm just going to keep winding same again use up as much of this as I can get onto the get onto the fly touch and turns fill up that hook so it's like a short compact dense mass of hackle fibres full of movement look at that I've got another one on and now I've come right up to the eye and I'm just going to come across my thread two or three turns fold that stem back and take another two or three if it doesn't want to break just trim it away and tidy they've written up well the wee neat head and then I'm just going to whip finish your thread. Now before I varnish the head what I like to do with these just to sort of free up the hackle you know these the the hen fibres often like kind of cling together and some of the Indian capes and just so you just brush this it takes all the twist it gets it sitting better and there you go right really effective fly as I say great on your top dropper Sh short line lock styling pulling it through the wave you can kind of dabble it right in the surface film that looks great catches a lot of fish well worth having in your box just varnish the head if you want you can apply a second coat later I don't bother, one's enough for a fish and fly for me, clean the eye. So, I hope that was useful, I hope you enjoyed it, if it was, please remember to give me a thumbs up below, and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines guys, bye.